Hey YouTube, what's going on y'all? I'm coming in to give you a quick review, a quick review of um, the Atlanta Housewives reunion show. And y'all, this is a pen up here. I don't want y'all to think that's like a cigarette or something like that. It's a, it's a pen. Because <sighs> I had to take me a few little, you know, little notes. Um, and I do apologize I haven't been in, guys. But I have been sick. For those of you that follow me on Twitter, you know... <sighs> Long story, but anyway, y'all, it's hot as a motherfucker in this, this room. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, um, these ladies are at the Biltmore uh, in, or in Orlando, in Atlanta, um, for the reunion show. And, of course, it's um, all of the ladies are there. Um, you have, on one couch, you have uh, Candy, uh, who, no, I'm sorry, Phaedra. What's Broke Bitch Sheree, uh, Ugly Bitch Kim. Then you got, on the other side, you got Nene, you got Cynthia, and then you got S Candy. So anyway, they basically just opened up the show, you know, basically just talking, just general and stuff like that. And from the first... Get or oh, from what I and guys, I'm gonna be skipping around a lot, so I'm not gonna go in any kind of order. But I'm just doing it my way. So if I miss anything, drop that shit below. You y'all know what to do. I don't want to have to tell y'all this bullshit every time I talk to y'all. But from my understanding, the first argument that got started was between Nene and Candy. Like, you know, Nene was saying, "Well, you know, I don't want to be around dildos. I don't want that to be all up in my face every time I see you, Candy." Like, it. <sighs> You know, and I can understand that, like, you know, and I'm, guys, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not trying to take up for Nene just because I like her so much, but just think if you were around a person that, you know, that, that their business was dildos, and every event that they had was surrounded by dildos, or, yeah, that shit would be become very just pressing, and just, I, there comes a point where you just don't want to hear about that shit, and... That's what Nene said. Like, I don't want to be around it. I'm going to be here to support you, but I don't want to be around it. Then they threw up, well, you know, Nene, you was a stripper. Okay, and you, she was a stripper. What? And? What? Wait. Just like Nene said, with, uh, with growth comes change. That was, she said it was in her 20s. Okay, be done with it, Candy. I mean, like. There was, I can see both sides of the issue. Like, I think Nene should have just, you know, been more supportive of the whole issue. But I don't blame her for, for you know, for not wanting to be around such things. You know, maybe the people at Glee or wherever else she might have been, you know, wh whoever else she might have been working for might have said, well, you know what, I don't want you to be, you know, around those certain things or certain... You know, like I said, I'm not trying to make excuses. I don't need you motherfuckers coming back at my goddamn timeline saying, oh, you just trying to take off of that bitch. No, I'm not. I'm just seeing it from all angles where you bitches need to be seeing it from. Um, let me just pause. Let me just say this. All the ladies are dressed pretty nicely. Um, I don't know where Kim is going with this goddamn ball gown on. I thought it was a reunion show, not a prom. Um, yeah. So, then they kind of moved to Candy discussing her relationship with Todd. Um, she don't really know what Todd does. And now they're moving in and, oh, it's serious and, yeah, okay. Um, Candy, I'm going to get you to know a little bit more about the man that you supposedly going to be living with and exposing your child to. Like, that's what I need you to do. Because something about that just ain't right. Something about that just... Something about that just don't sit well with me. Like, really, girl? Like, you don't know all the details? But you just giving us this? Child, please. <sighs> so then they get off of that. And, you know, um, supposedly... I'm really proud of Candy with her, her sex toy industry or whatever. Because... Honey, it's bought her a mansion. She's bought her, purchased her a new, brand new house in Atlanta. Honey, they say it's huge, humongous. 
girl, go for it. I am so happy for you. Like, really and truly. So let's move on. So then we move on to a montage of Kim and her and Croy and these children of hers. And they moving in and out this house. And oh, Kim draws all energy out of me. She draws every bit of energy out of me. Because at one point I liked Kim. But right now, Kim gets on my fucking nerves. It... Let me just say this. It seems that Kim was such a down-to-earth girl, you know. Oh, I'm going to go hang out with my girls, you know, blah, 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 blah. But when she got this husband and this kid, Kim is Kim is a different person. Just like Nene said, with growth comes change. But don't sit there and criticize and judge someone else who's done the same thing, who's grown up, who's grown up out of that not wanting to argue with people all the time, not wanting to, you know, don't, don't criticize and argue with people about that. Then she comes out and says, oh, she's pregnant. One, two, three, four, four. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Um, what really threw me off when they were talking to Kim was when she said, oh, well, yeah, there's ways of getting, um, around drinking while you breastfeeding. Oh, really? I, honey, I'm a teacher. I teach English. I, something about that just ain't right. CPS, I need you to, to handle on that. Like, they need to test this baby's breast milk and see if it's got some, um, some, some hypnotic or you know if the baby breast milk is blue I need to if they taste it it tastes, it tastes like Jose Cuervo I need somebody to do some some testing on that breast milk ASAP uh, and y'all my eyes are red because I like I've been sick don't think I've been doing something else not that if because if girl anyway let's move on so then she tries to avoid everything about Big Papa, you know, the questions about Big Papa. And Andy actually called that ass out because, um, you know, she did say when she was moving into that house, oh, Big Papa, Big Papa brought me this. And Big Papa bought them Versace damn dishes too, bitch. Like, what was you really doing to afford some goddamn Versace dishes? Like, really? Waiting tables? Girl, please. Girl, please. We know Big Papa bought all that goddamn furniture in that house and you and your husband laying up on it and fucking on it. Girl, please. He probably bought that ring on your finger, too. How you doing? Anyway, y'all. So, we moved to Sheree and her antics, honey. He bought Sheree. And she starts talking about this whole, this whole situation with her and Bob Whitfield and shit like that. About this uh, child support honey that she ain't ever gonna get uh, because she was a fool and she's sucking herself out of the, the child support. So she gets what she deserves. I don't feel sorry for Sheree because if Sheree would have stopped flossing around Atlanta driving uh, uh, panoramas and, and Range Rovers and, and Porsches and shit like that, she might she could have got some child support. But you know what? That was, that was Sheree's goddamn fault. So you know what, Sheree? I don't feel sorry for your monkey ass. Moving right along. Um, and then her and Phaedra get into it. Like, she was telling Phaedra that, oh, well, you didn't do what you were supposed to do during the, the proceedings and stuff like that. And Phaedra was trying to tell her, like, girl, it's certain steps you have to follow. Like, and she was like, and Phaedra told her, you didn't, re you didn't give me any cash until the day before, bitch. So what did you want me to do? I don't do shit for free. Girl, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't do shit for free either. Girl, please. Bye, girl. Fly, girl. Um, then they brought up Chateau Charade, which is Never Never Land, honey. Dirt. Um, I wish I could... Child, please. I'm going to see if one of my friends can go by that dirt mound where uh, Chateau Charade is supposed to be. Because I want some pictures of it. I want to see this shit. Y'all out sweating like a Hebrew slave. Um, moving on. Oh, but that skin don't seem look good, though. Um, then we get to Nini and then Nini and, uh, 
who was it? Nene and um, Sheree get into it because Nene, uh, Sheree starts talking about Nene's kids and stuff like that. And that's just something you don't do. Nene, I'm going to commend you for this. Girl, you stick up for your kids. And I don't blame you, honey, because if that would have been me, I would have come across that fucking um, couch and bopped that bitch in her face. But they was throwing major shade, honey, with the teeth and the calf muscles and the asses and shit. They was throwing some shade, like some shade, honey. Um, but, like, from the previews of what I've seen, it didn't really, like, this episode didn't give me what I wanted. Now, it gave me what I, what, there's a difference between a want and a need. I want a million dollars, but I need my next paycheck. This episode didn't give me what I it gave me what I wanted. It didn't give me what I needed. Okay? Now, this next episode coming up on Thursday looks like it's going to give me what I need because uh, Pocahontas will be making her debut, which is um, Miss... Um, what's her character? What's her child name? Um, Y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, the Thief. Uh, Y'all know who I'm talking about. Shit, I can't remember my girl name. Um... Marlo. Marlon, honey. Yeah, she's going to be making her appearance, so... Yeah, y'all. I just want to give y'all a quick little rundown of, you know, of what was going on. You know, I'm sorry I haven't been in, y'all. Like I said, I've been kind of sick under the weather. Uh, but anyway, y'all, if I miss anything, if I miss any important points, make sure you drop that shit below. Again, I do apologize. I just got done watching the episode, and it's uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to work tomorrow because I'm still taking six day, sick days because I'm still sick. So anyway, y'all, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to try to get in and discuss these uh, other hoes, too. So anyway, y'all, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope to talk to you guys soon. And like I said, if I dropped anything, if I missed anything, make sure you drop that shit below. Uh, follow me on Twitter at T H I L L four zero. Three, three. I'll drop that below also. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.